Mycobacteria Research Lab is a state-of-the-art center for interdisciplinary mycobacteriology research within the Institute of Structural and Molecular Biology, a world-leading joint institute between Barkbeck University of London and UCL. Mycobacteria Research Lab is also a core research facility at the UK TB Drug Discovery Consortium formed and originally funded by Medical Research Council in 2009. We are an active part of Antibiotic Action Initiative, fully funded by British Society for Antimicrobial Chemotherapy. Our research is to integrate interdisciplinary approaches in anti-infective drug design, discovery, and towards their development. Our current research focus is primarily to characterize the structure, function, regulation and inhibition of a number of enzymes involved in key endogenous metabolic pathways. The pathways uh, were originally chosen for their pivotal role in different physiological states of the TB causing uh, bacilli, mycobacterium tuberculosis. While we have identified and validated novel therapeutic targets in pathogenic mycobacteria, we also have discovered a few novel hits through a combination of quantitative structure activity relationship studies, molecular modeling, high throughput enzyme inhibition kinetics, and a rapid but gold standard whole cell phenotypic assay. The whole cell phenotypic assay, called the spot culture growth inhibition assay or spot eye, has been developed over the past decade as an outcome of our wet lab research. High throughput spot eye is a semi automated screening method which is rapid, easy to set up, economic, requiring less than a microgram of a test molecule to produce gold standard output through direct observation. We grow a panel of intracellularly surviving mycobacterial species under special condition to mimic the different physiological states of the TB causing bacterial pathogen such as actively replicating, slowly replicating, dormant or even resistant to an existing uh, drug or multiple drugs. HT spot eye allows us to find out whether an existing drug or a novel chemical entity have any effect on the growth or viability of this pathogen as well as their drug resistant mutants. Using this drug susceptibility testing, we can determine bacteriostatic or bactericidal mode of action as well as synergism, antagonism or indifference of molecules with other drugs or inhibitors. While slow-growing mycobacterial pathogens such as Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Mycobacterium bovis take five to seven weeks to grow as a colony forming unit on agar plates, a mycobacterial spot on the agar surface in HT spot eye assay takes only a week to grow, therefore saving a month's time to achieve reliable results. A bacterial colony forms from one or a unit of a very few bacterial cells, whereas a bacterial spot develops from at least 200 live bacterial cells as a monolayer community which resembles an intracellular host infection model. The spot method was originally developed from a six well solid agar plate based method now to a 96 well plate based semi automated method which can be applied to evaluate inhibitors against any microorganism that is able to grow on agar media includes most of the bacterial and fungal pathogens. In addition, HT spot eye can be used as a rapid test for drug susceptibility profiling against drug resistant clinical isolates in a simple clinical setting. There are five key steps in spot eye. 
As a background, we routinely grow and maintain mycobacterial cultures and quality control their purity. For the spot eye wholesale assay, optimization of the number of viable colony forming units per microliter of culture is essential. As a first step, we prepare main stock of inhibitors followed by serial dilution, then dispensing the molten agar media into culture plates and mixing them thoroughly with the inhibitors. Then spot inoculation of bacterial cells at the center of each well. We leave the preparation and let the bacterial cells grow on the surface by uptake of nutrients and inhibitors simultaneously. Finally, we note the results after about a week and record the minimum inhibitory concentration or minimum bactericidal concentration where there is no visible growth is directly observed.